Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is April 2nd, and that means this is the sketch that we are going to use. It's an 8.5 by 11 sketch. Um, however, I am going to be scrapbooking a 12 by 12. I'm going to be using my FCT sampler. Um, I believe this was from March, and I haven't touched it at all. Like, I haven't done anything with it, so we're going to do something with that. Um, I also have some mist. I have some glimmer mist and I have some mica mist from Nouveau. I also have the chevron stencil from Scrapping Reflections and I don't know yet if I'm going to use what I stencil or the print I pull. Um, I'll figure that out once we get that done. So let's see what I can do. Alrighty, so I went ahead and put the chevron stencil in my little Ikea box and I'm taking my sprays and I'm just spraying the heck out of them, you guys. I am trying to go straight down as possible uh, because I haven't done anything to keep the stencil stuck to the paper. Um, and if you spray sideways, you might get your spray under your stencil. And then I take a second sheet of white cardstock and place it right on top of the stencil and that pulls your stencil print. So once you pull this stencil off, there it is you have two papers now that you can use. Now I decided to go ahead and use the uh, the stencil print, so that top sheet of cardstock. I just liked it a little bit better for this layout because it kind of fades into the background a little bit more than the actual stenciled one. Now I still have that uh, piece of paper, it's off to the side. We'll make another layout with it. So it isn't like I'm wasting that piece of paper. Now I do have these photos and I went ahead and changed out the original photo that I had chosen of Crystal. Now this photo that was down there at first was a more clear photo of her, um, but um, I felt like she was, this one was a better photo of her, if, if that makes sense. Um, so there it is. And Amber's, her photo is just absolutely gorgeous know how lucky she is to have like this messenger photo that's like prom queen or something I don't know <laughs> um, I love these ladies so much um, and we were at creativation and we were um, figuring out how to all of us get on the screen at one time and we figured out Facebook messenger you guys like who knew that we did not know how to do Facebook messenger and there we go all of our faces were on there so I am using the Scrapbook and Cards Today kit, and it is the March kit. And it has uh, a couple different lines of papers in it, and one of the paper lines is thinner, uh, and that is because it is a Creative Memories paper. So even though my photos are not squares, they are rectangles, I am going to cut out squares for the photo mats. And my my layout doesn't turn out exactly like the sketch. Mine's more of a square grid, whereas in the sketch, it's more of a rectangle grid. And that's okay. Remember, these sketches are a guideline, you guys. You don't have to follow them exactly unless you want to. Now, if you want to follow the sketch exactly and you want it to turn out just like that, by all means, you go for it. You scrapbook how you want to scrapbook. You do what you want to do. Uh, you, you make yourself happy. Um, in this case, I'm taking inspiration from the sketch. So I'm just going ahead and figuring out which of these papers will uh, look good layered on top of each other and, um, you know, how, how it looks and what I like and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm just going to make that happen. Now, one of these collections is a birthday collection, so I am making sure that I'm using the sides that don't really say birthday or scream birthday at you. And I'm sorry if I sound funky. I feel like the my allergies just all of a sudden came up and slapped me across the face. <sighs> I've just got so much freaking sinus pressure right now that it's just like, come on. Um, so I am going to use this floral paper down here. Now since, remember, these all are 6x6 six six papers, you have to make them work for you. So I'm putting the join um, underneath of the mat. You're not going to be able to see the join. Um, the, I pick up my layouts and look at them face on uh, because sometimes when you're looking down at them, your perspective's a little bit off and things that you think are straight are truly not. So it is either put my head down 
uh, in front of you guys, and as it is, you guys see enough at the top of my head, so I really didn't think you needed to see the back of my head completely. Um, so I pick it up and lift it up, and all that does is gives me a different perspective so that I can go ahead and make sure things are straight. I shouldn't have said anything about my allergies because now my eyes are itching and they're kind of like tearing up and I keep closing them. So I have no idea what I'm doing right now uh, on the layout. All right, so I take this uh, blue gingham piece of paper and I'm gonna use it kind of as the background right here. So I am, I do end up covering a lot of the paper up that I have stencil printed. Uh, but you guys, that is okay. I am not concerned about it. I don't feel like I've wasted product. I mean, do you see how, no, you do not see. <laughs> you do not see how many sprays I have sitting right next to me right now. Um, but holy moly, I've got a lot. So this is not, I'm not feeling like it's wasted. You know, I don't feel like, oh man. Even if I threw that other sheet of paper away that I sprayed this through to the stent, like through the paper, through the stencil, I wouldn't feel like I wasted product because I made a great layout. Well, I think it's a great layout. Super colorful, super fun. And it's two of uh, the best ladies I know on there. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, see that little uh, label thing on there? Now, I really liked the sentiment on the label thing, but why the crap did it have to have those goofy-looking butterflies all over it? So all I'm going to do is flip that over and use it as a white piece because nobody needs butterflies on their layout. I certainly don't. The only layout that I need butterflies on that absolutely needs to have butterflies um, is some layouts um, for my Aunt B. Uh, because she loved butterflies. Um, so that. And I have a uh, couple funny butterfly pictures from Creativation that's going to need some butterflies on them. So that's going to happen whether we like it or not. <laughs> so uh, there it is. I've just added a couple more little layers here. Because Crystal's photo down at the bottom had that extra layer of the hearts and I did that because I wanted to kind of break up that big yellow bright expansive space so I just added some to the photos behind Amber and I as well and I am not tracing uh, this label thing right here I am actually drawing around it um, so basically I drew around it so that I could fussy cut it out and then I will put the white on top of the green and basically I just cut out a mat for the label now I feel like I have a steady enough hand that I could do that. Um, and it's not terrible. It actually uh, worked out pretty good. There's no, like, weirdness about it. And my daughter just got up and walked out the door. Don't know what the heck that was about. Um, so, I guess she was not a fan. Oh, she's taking out the trash. Okay. Um, so I went ahead and matted that bad boy with the uh, green side. They're both green side, but the, the more green side. And I just went ahead and tucked it underneath of the photo. And now I'm going to add adhesive to all of my other pieces because I neglected to do that before. Um, and then I just wanted to make sure that that was the direction I wanted to go. and I didn't want to flip them. Uh, and I ended up liking this the most, so I go ahead and stick those bad boys down. Now, I wanted to try to bring in this Cheers uh, die cut, but it just felt wrong everywhere I placed it, so I went ahead and did not do that. So the sticker sheet that came in the little sampler kit has a whole bunch of banners, and I just grabbed a couple of the banners and overlapped them. Um, and then I'm going to add a couple more banners on each part of the grid area. So I have, um, they're really easy. They're like cut in half. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be banners for something in particular. Um, you know, like the, the manufacturer thought you should use them in a certain way, but this is how I'm going to use them. I'm going to overlap them and um, place them coming out of our photos. So once I do that, I go ahead and think I'm going to uh, use a certain word. Um, 
Oh, I'm trying out the die cuts first. I really want it to bring in this tag somehow because I think the tag is awesome, but it doesn't really work with the other stuff I have going on. So I'm going to ignore that. Um, and then I was going to use the acrylic word that came in the little kit and it says shine. And I was going to come up with something with it because I was really trying to just use the kit um, to make this layout uh, besides, you know, my mixed media in the background. Um, so I alcohol inked up the word shine and I couldn't get the color correct and it ended up being way, way off. So it didn't match um, whatsoever. So I just put that off to the side and I pulled out these simple stories uh, foam title things and uh, it's a great color match like this this pink corally color is a great color match to the other one and it says killing it so I went ahead and placed that down right there and you know it might not make sense as to why I titled killing it but you know, we were sitting right next to each other, literally sitting right next to each other on a sofa um, in our hotel lobby, mastering Facebook Messenger. <laughs> so yeah, we killed it. And uh, that's the story, and I'm going to go ahead and stick to it. So I felt like I still needed to add a little bit more. Um, so, And then I figured I've already gone outside of the kit, so I might as well keep on going. So I go pull these um, little letter stickers, and I want to say they are from Chamel's Little by Little collection. Um, so I just grab them, and I'm spelling out our names um, in one single color. So I'm picking uh, one color for each name. Um, I'm not using the multicolored letters. So I get Amber's down, and then I get my name down, Sandy, in case you didn't know. <laughs> um, and then I get uh, Crystal's name down as well. And I pick three different colors. And I try to pick one that um, kind of coordinates um, but still stands out enough so that it's not like it's not like you look at the page and, well, bam, the names are the first thing you see. But you look at the page and you can read the names just fine. That's the kind of thing I was going for. So I'm going to go ahead and get crystals down as well, and then that will almost, almost uh, wrap up the layout. So on the title box right there that says Killing It, I did add a foam heart, and that came from some Amy Tangerine thicker thing, and then a uh, word phrase, which I'm pretty sure came from Prima, pretty sure, um, that says Happiness. So then, of course, I got to add more glue because, you know, I didn't add a lot of glue because I didn't know I was picking things up, putting them down, tucking things under. Uh, but now the layout is done. And now I'm having a confusion moment because I want it the same color um, across the top that says, here we are, killing it. Um, but I couldn't do that because I did not have enough of the letters uh, in, the, in the same color. So I didn't have any more of these E's in that color, um, so I couldn't I couldn't do it just in the blue. Um, and then I didn't have enough letters uh, for the other colors to have them in the same color as well. So I just went ahead and I have three different colors, which works just fine because the layout is already super colorful. So here we are killing it. And I do add some journaling. I am adding uh, journaling with a blue Muji pen. I love me some Muji pens. They just write so smoothly. They feel so nice in your hand. Uh, and I am lucky enough to have a Muji store um, a couple of towns over. So um, every once in a while, uh, we had that direction. Um, or, you know, you can get them on Amazon. So I just go ahead and write it down, talking about how we were in the hotel, sitting next to each other on Facebook Messenger. It's kind of like when my husband and I are sitting on the couch at opposite ends and we're texting each other. <laughs> so there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this 100 Sketchy Videos series. And I will see you again real soon for another video.